Welcome to Dexter Plays, This War of Mine. Time to do another run. I've been contemplating this next run for a while, and I think it is time for me to give Solo Marco a retry. So this, this playthrough is going to be a little different from the others. And the reason for that is this is a really tough run. We're going to need to be very careful about resource management and the exposure of items within our inventory as far as leaving things at the house. Because with Marco Solo, we will be, be raided many times. And if we leave anything in the house, we'll get stripped clean. So we're going to take on a lot of tactics to minimize the losses of things uh, to raiders and, and just kind of plan out each day. Because of that, we're going to end up having to um, take a lot of pauses between runs and during runs to record where we're keeping stuff because we don't want to bring everything home if we're not going to use it. So please bear with me through these playthroughs as I pause and break in and out as I have not done before because we want to make Marco survive this war of mine. Affected by the years of siege, the, the city of Pogren is slowly dying. All the services except for electricity are gone, and both the food and water are scarce. Until recently, the neighborhoods have been relatively intact, and people still have some valuables on them. Unfortunately, this also attracts the gangs. Firefighter Marco was fighting a losing battle with blazes until his fire station got destroyed, and most of his team buddies perished. With his family safe in the countryside, he moved into an abandoned house to gather his wits and decide what to do next. All right, let's take a look through here. Um, I'm going to look, but I don't necessarily oh, come back right here. Actually, we're, we're going to look around in things, but I'm not going to take them right off the bat. I have a few items that I'm going to want to grab uh, as I go through here to fulfill a priority of items that I uh, things I'm going to build. I want uh, some components. I'm going to leave the rest of that there. Let's go over here. First priority, a bed. Marco is not sleeping at night. Marco is going out every single night. So I want to get six components and I need eight wood. I already took three of these. Let me, let me put that back, right? Our th oh, this is our things. Okay, so we got six wood, eight, uh, eight wood, six components. So now let's go down here and make a bed. And this is how it's going to be going for the rest of the game here, is I'm going to be doing very specific items like that. Where to place the bed? Right up here, I think. First night, Marco's not sleeping. He's fine. It's going to help that he has 15 slots for carrying items. Look at his bio. Okay. It's just going to help that he has 15 slots for items. So after we've done the bed, our next priority is going to be the metal workshop. So we need 10 components and 5 wood. Well, we have more, more wood up here and more components here. So we'll take 10 and... Five wood. And then we'll make our metal workshop. Next thing I want to make is a crowbar. We're going to be using that on our scavenging runs, so it'll be important for us to be able to build those things out. Uh, where do we want to put this? We'll put this down here. Uh, yeah, we'll do crowbar. Then next is going to be getting up a rain collector and a filter. I thought about doing a shovel next, but um, I'm you know if I, if I if I build a shovel, I have to carry it with me. Maybe I will. Maybe I will do that next. I'll, I'll do a shovel next, just so I can speed up clearing out of things wherever I am. So now I need to get a crowbar and a shovel. So I need uh, is this ten components for the crowbar? And for the shovel, I'm going to need 
four and seven. So I need 17 components and four wood. water laying around that's good uh, looks like I uh, need to pry this door open maybe I should go live in the treehouse a couple other things uh, we're not going to prioritize the heater is not going to be terribly important uh, since we're going to be out every night one of the odd things about that is we aren't going to get sick we are also not going to need to worry about getting healed because of uh, raiders all right, so uh, I need four wood. So I need one, two, one more. There is this. And I think I needed, what is that? Uh, 10 and 17, 17. There. there we go. Now, let's go down to our workshop and get ourselves set up for our, our scavenging runs, and then we will continue. So the next thing will be a rainwater collector. I want to make sure I have water available to me. That's uh, something where it's, I, I run the rainwater collector and collect the water. I'll leave it on the uh, collector. It has been true in the past that if you leave something sitting on one of these items that make things like food on the stove, the raiders won't take it. That might have changed since then with the newer updates. I am running on update 1.3.1. So we will have to wait and see. So for the collector, I need three parts, five wood, 15 components. And then a filter for three more components. So you can see this could be much more intensive. Actually, it's coming, yeah, going on over there. Take all the components. How much wood did I need? I need five wood? Yeah, five. And I need parts still. It's handy to know that I've got a lockpick, depending on where I want to go. I know I have parts laying around in here somewhere. And two. I need a third part, which I think is over here. Nope. So this is going to be one of those things where I'm going to lose time just running around the house. Part. All right. What else do I need here? I need, um, got all the wood. All right. Yep. I just need the 18 parts or 18 uh, components. I don't have anywhere easy to get to right now. Great. Wait a minute, outside? I do. Um, sort of. Will I go out this way? No, I have to go through here. I'm not gonna make it. Darn it. So now I'm gonna be in, uh, heading out with this, these components sit, sitting in my inventory. Not in my inventory, but I'm gonna have to take them with me. There's the 17 right there. Well, um, I can't take them. Actually, can I put these? No, I can't put these away. Once they're in my inventory, I, I can't do anything about it. So I know that outside I have enough components to do what I need to do. Um, this is going to soak up a lot of space for me. Well, I, you know what? I might be able to start it. Oh, God, I, you know, if I should have just taken it. There's 17. Run, 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 run. Run down here fast. Run down here fast. Quick, 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 quick. I need you to start. I need you to start. I need you to start. No! Oh! oh, man. Well, we'll hope that the first day I don't get robbed. 
All right, so let's see what our choices are. Looted gas station, ruined villa, quiet house, and old town. This is a new one. Hmm. I think looted gas station is new too. Very first places. Well, yeah, we'll go there. So definitely taking these things with us. I need to take these. God. So here's my problem. I'm already loaded up. All right, well, we're going to go scavenge. And again, I'm taking this stuff because uh, I don't want to get raided and lose it all. Um, and so right here, I think what we're going to do is we're going to drop. Okay. There we go. Open it up. And this will be all the things we're taking back. We have enough of what we need uh, to build out one rainwater collector and one filter. So we'll know that that's there. So now let's start taking a look around and see what else we have. It is my intent to pack rat everything in this one spot. So we're going to go through here collecting and dropping everything off in this pile. And then we will use this as a stockpile to come back to. Again, these will be immune to being raided since they are not back at our house. I love the carry capacity. Marco, you're, you're, you're just a wonderful man to have around. Another thing we won't have to worry about too much is the um, securing of the house. Since we are not going to be uh, defending it with anybody, since Marco's going to be out every night, boarding the place up isn't uh, a high priority. Now, as I understand it, we may end up getting some additional people much later on down the series, or down the timeline here, at which point in time we will want to worry about that. So as, as the opportunity presents itself, we might just go ahead and do some securing of the house, even though it's not necessary for now. Rat? We have a rat there? Ooh, what's this here? There's a note under the table. Not actually hidden, but it could be easily missed. From the style of the handwriting, you can tell it was written by a woman in a hurry. Milos, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I could not wait any longer. I hid the jewelry inside the books. Look for them in the basement, inside carton boxes behind the barred door. Use it. Stay alive, please. God bless you. I'm sorry. Oh, boy. Yeah. Okay. I might look through here. That's a little higher than I would have expected. Ooh, look. Some medical stuff. Uh, we're also going to have to be very careful about... Nobody there. Uh, very careful about what our um, attitude is. So we're going to want to do things to boost our um, emotional state. One of those things I'm thinking about doing is being well fed. We also need to be able to take things to the hospital for contribution. That'll help for our keeping our mood up. Depression kills, especially when you're all alone. So there really isn't anything out here I, I need at the moment. I mean, uh, if I find some canned food, that would be great. Um, regular food is... I, I got regular food back, back at the house. Uh, stashed away. Uh, one of the things I like to do for getting my... Uh, keeping depression at bay is to bring back a lot of books and stack them up. Well, that ain't going to help me here. Because uh, if I take a bunch of books back, the raiders will take them. Let's take a look outside, shall we? Nothing out there. Okay, come up. Another note. What's this note say? This poor man had been caught by the shelling. What was he doing here? I can see the shell came right through the roof. Ugh. Grizzly. Looks like we got some more stuff up there. So far, we got a good collection of wood. 
Got a lot of sugar for whenever we decide to uh, pick up moonshining. That'll be a little ways down as well. Again, there's, there's no need to stockpile that stuff because um, whatever you trade for, you got to consume. So we'll, we'll keep the sugar elsewhere, like here. So when we get to the end of the day here, or the end of the night, close to being complete, um, I'm going to take a pause. Um, I will look in our stash, and I'm going to record everything that's there and start keeping a, a counting of it uh, before we used to just kind of keep it in our heads. Not good enough this time. For uh, old gas station that got looted, there's a lot of stuff here. I saw a little white dot up here, so there must be, yeah, uh, there's some more stuff up in here. Next is down. So we'll have this place completely looted by the time uh, it becomes, you know, later. By evening. Wait, 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 there's a hand. I see the hand. Alright, so before I go down into the basement area... Where the jewels are. We'll dump. Couple improvements in 1.3. One of the biggest improvements in 1.3 is the ability to write your own story, download your own uh, picture, become a part of that. That might be interesting to try out. So now we need a, a saw to get through this. Hmm. Well, this will be a nice place to come back to. One of the other things uh, I've seen people post from time to time is that uh, putting stuff into a pile like this will uh, have a tendency to have it taken over time uh, as other raiders apparently come by and pick stuff out. I've actually not had that happen to me except for um, things where I've chopped up with an axe. If I've come back for that, dude, that, that stuff has been gone. Uh, I don't see a hacksaw on here anywhere. So I uh, think I'm done because I can't get in here to open that, that spot out. So at this point in time, let me take a look at this and I will record it. I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. I've got this all recorded. We've got ourselves a, a few things. One of the things I really wanted to take a quick peek at is I want to take a look at his bio again. Is he a... No, he doesn't have anything like coffee drinking or cigarette smoking. So, all the thoughts were there was maybe I could take some stuff back to keep his mood going. Alright. So, I've got everything I need here for my water collector and a filter for that water collector. I could use the, enough for one more filter. Which I think is uh, three more components. And uh, I've got room for that, so let me... Uh, do that too much back uh, next thing after this I'm gonna want to build up my um, crude stove and that's gonna be ten components and five wood the five wood is kind of hard to pick up so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and uh, top off on the wood there and then uh, get the rest of these so now all I have to do is find two more components to get my crude stove put together all right but let's head on back where am I here we go Wrong door. That door this way is exit. That door over there is leave the game. Day two. Well, like, welcome back to day two. Here we are, uh, returning back from our trip over to the gas station. Got a quite a bit of stash there. We brought back just enough to get our crude stove up and going. And Marco has been, uh, been out. The night's been calm. So this is the last night things are going to be calm, if I am not mistaken. So let's get our, our butts down here. We're going to do um, first and foremost. Nope, wrong, wrong thing. Over here. Rain collector. Let's put that, is there a spot? Oh, there is. Put it right up there. 
Wait, come back here. Make a make a filter for it while you're you're down here. Let's prioritize our time a little bit. Actually, two filters, because I think we'll have enough time to get two filters in. And then for the crude stove, I'm going to need two more components. I know you can use some rest. You're not going to get any just yet. I need to also measure out the amount of time it's going to take for him to get rested. Okay, now you can end up there. So tonight he's going to be hungry. Most likely. Actually, I think we have enough food to cook here and water. So we should be able to do that too. Twenty-one degrees. All right. Well, at least the the uh, cold wave is not imminent. Do that. So we have one filter in the bank, and we're going to use that before we leave. Next, um, while that's doing it, while it's doing its thing, actually, let me come down here. I'm going to sleep first. We'll figure out how much time I need. There's ten a.m. 10, 10. Okay. I'm going to let that go, and as soon as uh, as soon as he comes back to uh, not being tired, we will come back. Okay, we're back. It's 310, so it takes us five hours to get ourselves some rest. Good to know. Alright, so let's uh, head on up here. The water has been done, so we can go ahead and do another. Get another one in there. Uh, idea here is I want to get the stove up and running. I'm going to use the water I've already already gone through. So I need components. I think some components were outside. I think I have one here and a couple up there. And I need how many? Ten and five. Got that. I need three more of those. And I think I have enough wood or enough water, but uh, I'll, I'll come back for that in just a second here. Let's go up here. No, this is going to get close. I'm going to have to go make that crude stove here real quick. Probably going to lose the water tonight. Okay, do I have enough? Ten and five? Yes, I do. All right, let's get over here. Start that crude stove up. There it is. And I'll see if we can stick it, in, uh, stick it up here somewhere. All right, fine right there. Um, yeah, might as well spend my time putting it together. And our things, so we only have the four water, which we'll end up having to take with us, but that's all right. So tomorrow we eat. Well, we still got a lot of stuff here at the Luda station, um, so let's take a look at what we want to do next. Uh, we do want to get our our, rain, our, our crew stove going. Uh, we're going to want to get some food for that. Uh, I think we've got enough food laying around the, the, the house to do that, so we won't have to worry about picking up anything new f to get that complete. Um, I need to make a saw, and to get a saw I need an improved metal, metal workbench, and to do that I'm going to need 30 components, 15 wood, and 5 parts. Um, let me let me take a quick peek over here. All right, so we do have everything that we need back at the uh, the other place. So let me think about this for a minute. Thirty components, 
five parts. The five parts are going to take two stacks. The 15 wood is going to take seven stacks, eight stacks. So that's, uh, oh boy, we're at 11 already. I got three taken up for 14. I don't have enough on me, space on me, to carry the, all of that back. So I have two things I can do. One, I can hope to find more in the house, bring back what I can. Mostly parts would be the important part. Um, and then if I don't have it at the house, I need to build an intermediary item like a rainwater collector to store all these items so they can't be stolen. But again, the looted gas station has everything I need, so let's go back there. You will take all of this and go scavenge. All right, here we go. Let's stick our, our noses in here. So again, we want the parts. Um, there's five parts that we want. We need uh, the wood and the components. So uh, one, two, three, four, five. That's ten of the fifteen wood. And one, two, three, four, five. That's twenty of the thirty components. So that should lessen the load pretty well on us for what we need to do. Now I want to feed myself twice. And that's going to take... Um, one, oh, boy, yep, let me take out the one wood. That's going to take at least a vegetable. I know that I saw some meat back there, so with that I can make two meals. Um, and I think I'm going to need uh, six water, is that right? Hold on. Okay, yeah, I need six water. There we go, and then I can leave the one that's on the stove there. Component, got the food, no need to worry about fuel. I don't need two pieces of fuel, but I can get that from the house as well. All right, I think we're good. Let's go home. Thanks for watching another episode of Dexter Plays. Subscribe and leave a like, and post down below any tips or tricks. Stay sharp.